Welcome to 52 Questions. I'm Shannon Weber, Director of Hive. Every year, Hive answers hundreds of questions from patients, their partners, and providers. Each week in 2018, we're bringing you one of those frequently asked questions in video format. Have a question? Let us know. We'd love to answer it for you. This week's question comes from a woman who says, hi, I'm 42 years old. My husband is living with HIV and we'd like to have a baby. What do we do? So in previous 52 question videos, we've answered lots of questions about men living with HIV and how they can safely have babies and essentially eliminate the risk of HIV transmission to you. So in this video, I'd like to focus on fertility overall and how your age might impact your ability to conceive much more than your partner's HIV status. So first, let's talk about what are the indicators of fertility. There's three indicators. The first indicator is the quality of your eggs. And this is important because the quality of the egg, though it, there's no test to determine the quality of the egg, but the quality of the egg um, impacts how the embryo implants in the uterus and whether or not there's a risk for miscarriage. A second indicator of fertility is, is there enough sperm? So does your partner have enough sperm to meet the egg and create an embryo? And three, are your fallopian tubes open? Let's spend a little bit of time talking about the quality of the egg. Well, what do we know about uh, egg quality? One is that um, well, for reasons that we don't quite understand, egg quality and quantity decrease over our lifetime and it begins at an early age. We are in fact born with all the eggs that we're ever going to have. And when we begin our menstrual cycle, which is typically between uh, 11 and 13, each month when our body ovulates, it produces an egg. And pregnancy occurs when a sperm meets the egg and then implants in the uterus. But over time, that quality of those eggs decrease and the cycles of our periods also shift. And beginning at age 35, women's fertility decreases each year thereafter until a woman reaches menopause and then she's not able to conceive at all. Now this doesn't mean that women over 35 can't get pregnant. Of course they do. Even my own mother got pregnant when she was 47. It just means as we get older, particularly when we're into our 40s, it's harder for us to conceive. So then you might be thinking, well, what is infertility and how is that defined and when would I go get help from a provider? So infertility is defined for women under 35 as having sex without contraception, so frequent sex without contraception for a year and not conceiving. But for women over 35, it's having frequent sex without contraception for six months and not conceiving. And so if that's the case, if you've been having sex for six months and you have not yet conceived, you might think about talking with a healthcare provider if there are ways for them to assess you and your partner's fertility. Some of the assessments that the provider can do are blood tests to determine hormone levels, um, an x-ray with a, a dye to, to see if your fallopian tubes are open, and there's also medications that can help to regulate periods and increase our ovulation. Also, a sperm analysis can be done, or semen analysis, to determine the quality and quantity of your partner's sperm to see if that's a factor in whether or not you're able to get pregnant. So what are some of the things that you can do at home to increase your chances of getting pregnant? Uh, one, you can time your, your sex, meaning that you have sex at your peak period when you're most likely to get pregnant. This is when you're ovulating, and again, the 24 hours after. And there's ways you can help predict your ovulation. There's um, free apps that are available for a smartphone to help you track your period, and it'll show you on the calendar when you're most likely to get pregnant. And you can also confirm this with an ovulation prediction kit. Um, these are available over the counter from the drugstore, and I understand that the cheap versions work just as well as the expensive versions. Um, and so in this ovulation prediction kit, you dip a test strip into your urine, and it lets you know when there's a hormone um, there that means that you're ovulating, and then you would have sex that day as well as the 24 hours later. Other ways that you can increase your chances of getting pregnant at home are um, stopping smoking. So smoking decreases um, our fertility for both men and for women. Um, 
Excessive alcohol drinking can impact our uh, ability to get pregnant as well. I hope this helps. I can't wait to see what happens next for you. Um, join me next week where I'll answer the question. My partner's semen analysis came back and he doesn't have enough sperm. Now what? Thanks for joining. I hope you have a great week.